Greetings, Inquisitor. Welcome to the Holocron. This is week nine in the rise of Obtisio. I started this account on January 1st, used the Hyperdrive bundle, and I'm doing weekly updates to show you all how I'm building the account to rise quickly through the new Grand Arena system. Building the account this way will also help us in Fleet Arena placement. It will help us do well in Conquest and other game modes, and you can follow along. Any questions that you may have, please post in the comments down below. I'd be happy to hear from you all and start that conversation. With that in mind, let's get in here and see what happened with the account this week. We said our target for Relic was the Geo Spy in week 10. It's only week 9, but we uh, hit him a week early. So since we got him there, we're going to go ahead and take him all the way up to Relic 5. I've built the Relic Spy on my main account and my alt account. I've had good success with this, helping me out a lot in Fleet Arena, as well as the Relic Spy character being very powerful in the early game Grand Arenas on defense. So it's, a, it's a, good, a good relic to have in terms of both the character and the pilot. That's what we're looking for here in the early game. Good characters that give us double benefit. So there he is at Relic 5. We're going to take the Hive Mind bonus here on this skill. Spend those little uh, materials, Omega materials over here. Then uh, we've got mods. I was thinking about putting speed mods on him. Uh, making him a little faster. We had some success with that with another spy on my alt account. But at the end of the day, I just don't have very good speed mods right now, and I don't have a set that I like. So I end up just swapping out a couple of these crit chance mods for defense mods. He's still got over 100% crit chance already, uh, which isn't ideal. We don't really need that but now that we got him to relic level. But uh, we'll go back again later and work on his mods some more. He really doesn't have ideal mods. We're going to take an upgrade to Mon Mothma and take her to six stars. She's not one of our main teams, but we do want to get a level on her every now and then when we can. She's one of those characters that eventually we can turn into a one relic team, or at least put her at gear 12 to help the rest of the team out. Working on these clones, Shakti gets a star, uh, Rex gets a star, we're going to get a star onto Echo as well. And I'm buying these characters out of the shop. I'm trying to avoid the need to farm them or spend Cantina energy. So we're looking for them out of the fleet store mainly, guild store if we can find them over there. And when we can, we're, we're purchasing those shards. Again, just to avoid the need to, to buy them out of the Cantina. We're going to go ahead and lock down a bunch of gear on Sunfac. So we, we, we don't have enough gear to get him this tier. But uh, for sure, we need more Carbantes. We're going to go ahead and commit a stun gun, commit, you know, all the stuff that we need there so that we can see that we just have one Carbanti left to get Sunfac on the roll. Uh, I think we need something similar for Brood Alpha. We may actually need to take Brood Alpha up some levels. Uh, Conquest is coming up, so we may need to, to finish out the Brood Alpha to help us in Conquest even ahead of Sunfac. Uh, we'll play that as we go along. Working on more of these characters. Working on the troopers. So remember, the Geos, until we finish the Geos, they're still our main priority. The clone troopers are our second priority behind that. We're going to put gear on them whenever we can. And then other teams are lower in priority. These troopers, what I'm doing here, we're just going to continue to spend credits on them. So we still have some credits left in the account. We're going to take an, a gear upgrade on Moff Gideon, take him to level 85, work on some of these character skills a little bit. And we're just going to position them so that later when we do want to commit to building them, uh, we won't have all of that credit spend left to do. We'll already have them started. And we'll just be able to finish them out and continue to work on their gear. So by doing it this way, uh, then, then we mark them as the next team in line uh, to, that we're going to work on after the clone troopers. So the clone troopers will get their levels up mainly first for gear, and then what, what's left over will work on these troopers. So Geo's first, clone second, troopers third, and then other squads after that. So in this case, we've completely run ourselves out of money. There's not much to do for these other squads because we're broke. 
So that's going to wrap up what we can do on the character side for this week. Let's take a look at ships. We do have this Geo Spy. Get him to seven stars. Geo Soldier. We've also purchased up to the point where we can get him to seven stars. I am definitely lacking these ship Omega materials. And uh, up until now, I haven't been able to do the fourth tier of the materials challenge. You get it unlocked at tier three with the hyperdrive bundle. So you can already access the Zeta materials early on, but you need six six star ships in order to be able to do the tier four material challenge. And um, I didn't deviate and go try to really quickly make some six star ships. I'm just building these up as we go. Here we're going to put the reinforcement on Sunfac. He trails behind the other Geos a little bit. You can see he's at five stars. Mainly he's going to be used as a reinforcement. So we go ahead and uh, use the reinforcement ability on him. Um, level that up so that we can get those stuns when he comes in. Same thing here on Anakin. We're not really ready to commit Anakin as a ship. We haven't worked on the character that much. Uh, but we'll go ahead while we've got credits and we'll level it up. We'll sink some of these initial tiers into the skills and just position this ship to be used as a reinforcement. Uh, of course, we can't get the level 3 reinforcement until we level the ship all the way up. Um, uh, so we need 5 stars to get that. But um, we'll go ahead and add one la layer of reinforcement and get the second one once we get enough stars on the ship. So we're in pretty good shape there. As far as the material challenge goes, this will be my sixth six-star ship. So as soon as I get this vulture droid, then the next time that material challenge comes up, uh, we'll be able to get it. Padme is uh, now available to us. I'm not ready to build Padme yet. She's a pretty Zeta-hungry character. You pretty much need both of her Zetas and one on Anakin to make that team work pretty well and at least two Zetas. And right now I've got the clones. I still need to put Zetas on Shock T. Uh, we're working on troopers. We'll need at least two Zetas on the troopers. And uh, then uh, maybe we'll save up some Zetas and get Padme going. Uh, a lot of Padme's team now goes with Qui-Gon Jinn, so it's not quite as convenient as it once was to build a Padme team. So maybe we'll do something different with her. But certainly now that I have a Relic Spy, this uh, whole mission is pretty academic. You don't need a Relic Spy to win, but and I, I probably should have made a Holocron uh, of beating this mission uh, without the Relic Spy. But uh, in this case, we're just going to hit Kenobi and make sure that he doesn't get taunt up. Then when we're re ready with the Execute, we just go over and Execute Padme. And again, your, your spy doesn't need to be relic level for that to happen. Uh, it's pretty easy to execute the Padme. we got to get over on to the Jedi Guardian, the fish-looking guy. He has Resurrect. He's basically Jolie Bindo's kit, so you got to get him out of there. We've lost a bunch of our Geos, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, at lower gear tiers, you'd probably have to do this, you know, 5, 6, 7, 15 times uh, to get good RNG and get it finished. But with the Relic Spy, we just push right on through, finish everybody off, and we can activate this Padme Amidala. And I am going to go ahead again and take her to seven stars. We're not planning to use her right now, so we don't really need to commit these credits. But I'm going to do that, uh, put her at seven stars. Uh, you know, maybe I'll get to contribute her into a territory battle uh, for the guild or something like that, a seven star character that I can place. So uh, it's not bad to put her at seven stars for, for the sake of the guild. And uh, we'll probably find some use for her. Not in the coming weeks. Uh, probably, like I said, be working on the troopers and some other stuff and, and committing a lot more Zetas before we get around to Padme. But we've got her there when we need her. Um, let's say, for instance, that you were working on an early game account and you didn't want to build the Imperial Troopers. Uh, you could very easily commit those Zetas to a Padme team and, and get her going. She is a fantastic early game team. She's really uh, can be a timeout team against early game opponents. Or she can really punch up um, against some tougher stuff that your opponent might put on defense. Padme's team is exactly as good as your Anakin. So you have to build up the Anakin to have a good Padme team. So if you want to do that, 
you can feel free to. She's really a great character. But again, these geos give you fleet. They give you territory battle victories. They give you all kinds of stuff. And they also give you Padme Amidala. Easy. Week 9, we're up to 1.35 million galactic power. We've added another 60,000. We've got three relics, four Zetas. In squad arena, we're still using a mixed uh, team and getting top 50. In fleet arena, we've got this home one, silencer fives, bigs. Even with the seven stars and the geos, they haven't proven big enough to pass up my original team yet. Uh, the lack of a decent sun fac is kind of holding me back. But um, anyway, we're getting there. We're still top 10. Uh, a lot of days we can't break into the top five with our fleet yet. We got to get converted over to the geos. And then maybe I do have to build the Executrix. Tarkin Geos are much better than uh, the other capital ships with Geos. So if I can't get them good enough with Home 1, then I'll have to switch that up. So the project now is going to switch over to Relicking 5s on Week 12. We'll give ourselves a three-week cycle on this. Mainly that's because of signal data. I, I, I don't know if I could... I could probably farm him to Relic in two weeks... But I want to take a little bit more time on the signal data to give me time to start farming up Gideon. And uh, I have to get Gideon and Arc Trooper out of Cantina. So we do need to convert some of our Cantina farms to those two characters for sure. So we'll take a three-week cycle on fives and give ourselves some space to do that. The energy plan for the next week, really no change from the prior week. The shop plan, again, very similar to the prior week, all the same stuff. So just to recap what we're doing with this count, we're still in the stage where we're trying to stabilize. And again, I'm trying to stabilize 10 teams right away. So my galactic power is going up very quickly on this account, but it's because I'm really trying to build a broad base of teams. I expect this uh, account to go to Bronzium quite quickly and I'll need four, five teams on defense and five teams on offense. So I'm planning from the start to get all of these 10 teams going. That's spreading my resources quite thin, driving my galactic power up uh, quite quickly. But that's okay. That's what it's going to take for us to keep pushing up in Grand Arena. The Geos are up and running. The Troopers are in the works. Uh, the clone team is coming up quite nicely. Padme is ready to start a team maybe pending Kenobi. Uh, again, Qui-Gon Jinn, if I decide to Omicron, Qui-Gon is the first Omicron on this account. Uh, that's going to take the characters away from Padme. So Padme may do something else. I don't know. She's kind of on the fence right now. We'll see where that ends up going. Um, I still could build a regular Padme team and then with Qui-Gon just use all of the off-brand Jedi. So that's another option. Um, but again, we'll, we'll see. We have a little bit of time as the account develops to figure out how that's going to go. We do need to get a bunch of seven-star Jedi so that we can get Grandmaster Yoda to seven stars. Um, similarly with Rebels, we need to get uh, some seven-star Rebels so that we can get Emperor Palpatine uh, up to seven stars. So we'll be working on some of that stuff in the background as well, grabbing shards where we can out of the shops. For relic levels, uh, remember I talked before about having three layers of account building, so I'm just going to point out week by week that's what you're going to see, right? So I'm working on the relic level. We worked on Spy. That was our main project for the relic level. For shard collection, we're still grabbing all the fleets and characters that we're grabbing off the hard nodes for stuff to build later and stuff to finish. And then the middle layer where we're filling in gear, you've got all of those initial teams, the troopers, the clones, Empire, Padme, uh, the Fin Fin Po team, Geos, Jedi, um, First Order. And again, we have to build a little bit of a First Order team in order to get a seven-star BB-8 if we want that. So in order to get the BB-8, we need a First Order team anyway. We get some First Order with the Hyperdrive bundle. Several of those characters are available from the shop. So we'll just build those up uh, quietly in the background over time. We've got the Mon Mothma team, and then, of course, we do have a Phoenix team rattling around somewhere. We've got the Night Sisters as well that we can put on defense. We've thrown some uh, trash mods on them and already uh, used them on defense, so we've got some backup stuff. But uh, we'll be filling gear on these teams as we go. And then remember the team strategy we talked about previously. We said there were three kind of teams. We want the 
we had the dominance teams that would just, as long as you go first, you take a lot of turns, you have some kind of turn meter control, win the battle that way. Uh, we've got the balance teams that have a little bit of, you know, control and a little bit of uh, healing, a little bit of, you know, everything. And then you've got the, the kind of the timeout teams, the defensive teams that are meant to just defend and hold on and recover and revive and, and that kind of stuff. So with our build, you could look at teams like Fin Fin Po, the Imperial Troopers, and the Empire team with Darth Vader in it. They're all meant to go first and win. That's what we're going to try to do, get a bunch of speed mods, get those teams fast, and position them to, to just go first and win. The Clone Troopers are a pretty good balance team. Sometimes we'll have to use the Sacrifice to win. Sometimes we can just, you know, win straight up with the clones. Um, but they have some, some good recovery abilities. Shock T can recover health and protection, call a bunch of assists, tenacity up to remove buffs, stuff like that. Mon Mothma similarly revives a bunch of healing, stamina. Jedi, similar. <clears throat> you know, different Jedi teams have different synergies, but uh, with the Bastila Shan lead, you could put a bunch of extra protection on them at the beginning of the battle and uh, get a lot of control. Bastila has a stun, assist, all kinds of different stuff. Padme team, um, again, early in the game, a lot of times you just put that on defense and it's hard for the opponents to, to chew through. A lot of the early game teams like Geos, Mon Mothma, Troopers, they all struggle against Padme because of all the attacks out of turn and her uh, gimmick to give the extra protection up for attacks out of turn. Uh, makes that team very difficult to beat. You need to have high single target damage um, uh, to take her out. So... That's a timeout team. The Geos are a good timeout team. And the thing about the Geos, if you lose to them once, when, when you come into battle the second time, uh, they're no different. You know, they have tons of healing and recovery and extra health and protection, and they, they, they're really a nasty little team early game. Of course, if the opponent's built a counter for them, they'll beat them. But, uh, yeah, if they haven't built a counter, then the Geos stand. And then First Order, of course, Kylo Ren Unmasked can be pretty tough to deal with in the early game. So those are kind of, we're building some of each, right? We said in order to build a successful Grand Arena uh, roster, we need some of each of those teams. So here you go. There's our teams. We're building some of each. That's going to wrap it up for this week's progress and the discussion about the account building. Remember, leave your questions and comments down below. I'm open to talk about anything you guys want to talk about, anything you want to see or hear in future updates. Let me know, and I'll be happy to try to help. Hit the like button if you haven't already. That helps me, helps the channel. And I hope to see everybody over on Discord. We've got a wonderful group of people over there. And if you have questions, you know, ask me in the Ask Loquitor channel or just drop it in general chat. Talk to some people and then you'll get some help and advice from just about any one of our experienced players over there. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next Holocron.